okay I think I've got that on having a bit of a problem with the camera on this one trying to get it focused but I'll I will um I'll keep going I won't know if this is focused really until uh, we get to the end of the um clip and I upload it but I'll try again so anyway what we're doing here is this is the first of my um pieces that I'm making for the if you remember the sketchbook of um, sketches of flowers um, and this is the first one I'm doing um, for the language of flowers and it's going to be for the concealed gallery with art textiles at festival of quilts and I want to make because it's quite personal um, a message of hope for those in despair that's what this piece will be called and it will actually have five um, flowers in it um, and I would, this would be a bouquet that you would give to somebody who was depressed perhaps, um, or grieving or sad. So one of the flowers I want to include is the snowdrop, which um, within the bouquets that the Victorians gave stood for consolation and hope. So he will be central. Um, this is my sketch that I drew. Um, I want it bigger, obviously. This is the size that I want to work to. This is a roughly um, two and a half by one foot canvas size which is what I want to work on so I sized my snowdrop up I hope we're in focus this time I sized my snowdrop up that's still not big enough for this canvas I did all this on the photocopier this time if you watched the last video with my leaves I did it with a grid because I wanted them so much bigger but I knew I'd be able to get this on my photocopier so I've double sized that and used the um I think they call it the poster thing so I've printed that on A3 paper two sheets and that's just the right size the canvas is here actually it isn't that's not it that's not the canvas we might miss out the canvas because i can't <laughs> i can't see it handily um it's ah, it's here look hang on hang on hang on everybody here i go it's just so that's the size of the canvas and that you can see is going to be a nice size for the sketch of it so what i want to do is i could have done these on plain white backgrounds as i did in my sketchbook but I would call myself, if anything, a collage, collage artist. I want to collage a background. So I've got myself some felt, which is my favourite um, backing to work on. It's very stable. It's an acrylic wool felt, good quality, um, will take a lot of stitch um, and is perfect for what I want. And I can then mount this onto my canvas. So I've got the image and I've chosen fabrics here that suggest snowdrops to me. So I'm looking at kind of winter. So these pale blues, um, a lot of purity of it, a lot of white. I've picked out some white fabrics. I've chosen vintage fabrics here because I like um, I like the idea of them coming from vintage pieces. So these are from old embroideries, old tablecloths. Got one here which is probably from an old um, tray cloth or something. I love to use these pieces. I've got lovely little. Um, I would tell you what that was if I could remember, like a little coaster. Um, so, and some lace. So those are the fabric, that's the fabric palette I've chosen. So I'm going to start in, absolutely love that piece. It'll be the difficult piece because I really want it in there. Um, so I'm going to start in and just make my collage. And my, my aim here is to get this covered fairly quickly because then I can make decisions. So I cut out my snowdrop a bit um, so that I can actually try for size and try with the fabrics I'm putting down. Put them to one side for the moment. And I like to kind of pick something fairly big to begin with. So this piece here would do nicely. This is from a vintage tablecloth. This is the lace edge. I've chopped it off. It's very beautiful. So I'm going to put that down there like that. I like that. And that kind of gives me a starting point to go at, really. Uh, and then I just need to get some space covered. So I've got that little chap. He's very pretty. That is actually, I think... Um, a little snowdrop, a little embroidered snowdrop. So I would like him, do you know, know which is the front and the back here. Good embroiderer, that's the front. So I quite like him. Um, I've got plain white, which could be useful. I'll save that for the moment. Um, that could be useful when we're trying to fill in. This is a nice piece, I think, of embroidery here. Perhaps I could use that down there somewhere. That might look nice. Let's see what that's like. Um, I have made this once, to be honest with you, because the, the video went wrong, but it won't come out the same. And I will say this with students, don't worry about whether you remember what you did, because you'll do something else equally as nice. I know I have that down. So I love this. This is from an old striped blue pillowcase. Um, 
and I just really like that stripy blue and I don't know to me it says winter and snowdrops it might not to you but it does to me so I'm going to put him down there um, and then that's a bit of a waste of my beautiful lace so let's put that on top um, we need something I quite like darker things at the bottom um, this here this I'd like to keep that little feature in there which is going to be tricky because he's right on the edge. I think, here's my line, this is why I draw it, so that I can see where the edge of the collage is. Ah, hang on, I'm a bit off camera there. Here. The edge of my collage is here. So he would have to go right, and I still think I'd lose him. So I think to keep him in there, my best bet is actually to get off this bit. Easier said than done. Okay. Which could wrinkle things up. Whoops. That wrinkled things up. I am. Um, I don't want to move too much because I've taken a long time getting this sorted. But oh no, that's my bosoms going in there. We don't want that. Um, right. That gives me some hope, some chance of getting him in there. I think really, um, we're going to let's put him underneath there. Like that. Going to need something underneath him here. Um, and I can't have had it like this, so because there wasn't this problem last time. So, um, what about that? Look, it's just a little piece. It's an off piece off there, and it's folded. But that doesn't matter. That does rather nicely down at the bottom there. I like that. I like that a lot actually. So let's put that down there and that, and I've managed to keep him in there now. What else have I got here? Um, there's my gorgeous fabric that I really love. I would love to use this here somewhere, but it's it's quite strong. Could could go in here maybe. Um, sure about those. This is the same little motif, but they've got pink in. I, I don't I don't know that I want pink in there. We'll see. Um, I've got yellow. It's sort of quite pale yellow. I'm hoping that's a kind of spring-like buttery yellow. Maybe maybe might put that in too. We'll see. Um, what else have I got? That, oh, I've noticed that before. That's got the most beautiful frayed edge on there. So I would really like, actually that makes a nice base. I like that a lot. Um, and I need to decide, to so move that for a minute, whether I want the lace over or under it. I think under and over the bottom. I think I like it like that. So, there's just my little precious treasure down there. I'm just making sure that that, that I've got there. No, we're not central. Don't like things central. Um, it's, uh, it's one of those design rules, but it also happens to, to be true of me that I don't like things being logical. I like that there. Need something at the top. Maybe some blue. Down there, I think I prefer the blue over there. And this is nice. This is nice. This is the stripes that we've got here, but going in a different direction. I like that. Um, but it's a very thin piece. It's, um, it's not going to fill down there, is it? We've got any more of that? And I can see a piece down here. That's a nice piece, but still not big enough. That's a nice piece. That is big enough. Okay, so if we put that down there. Now, do I want that over or under there? I think still under. I think we'll keep that nice green frayed edge, perhaps, right across the bottom. I love that contrast of the two stripes there. Where's me? Let's just have a check of my flower at this point where we're going. Okay, that's working nice. I'm going to want my flower across this side a bit. It's going to hit that lot a bit, which might be difficult. Um, because they're quite dominant and obviously the flower is, I think, the thing I want to show. So maybe I'd be better putting, I haven't got a big amount of space there, putting those further to the outside if I could. I probably could. Um, let's tear this so we can see what we're doing with it. That's actually, they're right on the border there. Can't get them much further in than that. Um, 
but I think that could... I, I'm, I'm uncertain about that. We'll think about that. I do like it. Um, I'm not sure it's... Well. I wonder if I put... That... Oh, just fits. Across the bottom here. Where there's less... And then put this lovely piece into here. I wanted, I wanted that frayed, I liked that frayed edge at the bottom because it reminded me of glass, I think that's why. No, I don't like that as much. I like, whoops, I like my frayed edge at the bottom. What am I doing for time? I'm oh, not bad, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. I've never made a collage against the clock before, but I know I've got about 25 minutes here, then we turn off. That yellow is distracting me, I'm going to get it out. Better, better. Not better, just for me, it's more wintry now, it's more snowdroppy. Do I want that down there or do I want it under there? Ooh, I'm uncertain. I think I'll probably take it off the edge. That piece I will have to fold out so that I can get it off the edge, but I can do that off camera. I can fold that out flat on it. It's there. Okay, we need something up this side. I've kind of rejected a bit. Um, more blue. I could certainly have more blue. Um, what else have I got? got plain white. You know, sometimes when nothing else seems to be answering you, maybe just a bit of plain white tablecloth. It's a nice old bit of linen. Maybe that looks good there. What about that? Oh, I like that. And I could have, perhaps... There's too much white there, I can see that. But maybe my lovely piece of that in there. Um, let's try that once more. I do think it's so pretty. But I've got to remember that this collage is about the snowdrop, not about the grapevine. And although that is incredibly pretty, can I get away with it? Do I get away with it, folks? Do I get away with it? I do like it, because it gives a real kind of statement down there. Let's, um, let's, let's tuck it under and tuck it under. Check where the line of where my edge is my edge is here so actually it's gonna have to go further this is a trouble it's quite wide what i'd like is something like that but not as wide but let's try that because i'll show you how i'm going to deal with some of this at the end okay so my snowdrop maybe maybe if i just do less of it and stop it there better Right, let's make that decision and cut it off. A bit brutal. And that's a decision made now, because that means, hopefully you saw that, what that means, that means that where I'm going to position my snowdrop is going to come above it. So that's going to work. Okay, so we, we need something up this side. I think green to balance with that. I did like that blue piece there, but let's just get some green balancing in. Whoops, that's moved. Get back, boy. You are here. That's your job. Used to be on that edge. So don't start messing me around by not being there. It's good to talk to your fabrics. Okay. And the green up there. I like that. Not as much of it. That's put it in line with the other. I'm not so sure, but I need to make sure these stripes are straight. I'm anal enough that if there's a stripe, I like it straight. Or purposefully diagonal, but not an accident. That's very, it's very, very neat and tidy there. But um, I could maybe use, I liked the blue. That's quite a pretty piece with this, um, I pulled it off there. Even, remember the small drop in there. What about just that piece? thinking of covering up that's better covering up a bit where those join in fact as you could have it that does go just under there I'm going to rip that a bit narrower so that we know where we're at with it because oh, that doesn't rip easily okay 14 minutes not too bad at all not too bad at all so we can see there, because the edge is actually here, so there won't be such a big strip of green there. The strips of green will be smaller than they're looking. It's quite hard with collage to keep picturing this, but you get sort of used to it. Okay, 
paste, that's where my flower's going to go, like that, I love that little piece there, what am I mimicking, oh, do I want to do it with this little bit I've chopped off, no, too much, too much, that was really nice, that was really nice, okay, I think I need something up here, um, maybe I've got nice fat lace, um, I am going to use lace later on, I'll show you how, but I think, oh that's nice, and it knocks that back but still keeps it there, oh that's perfect, how far down, right the way down, right the way down, under or over this, it's probably something I want to do with the camera and I can't because I'm using it, um, I'm uncertain. So, what's about one of each? Nice. When uncertain, do a bit of each. Okay. To mimic that somehow. Um, where's that gorgeous piece that I wanted in? And which isn't now in. Where is it? Where? Hmm. Maybe it's not meant to be in. Ah, here we go. All right, two bits of it. Could I put this in somewhere up here? Ooh nice but i think it's going to detract i think we need to keep it fairly low where this lot is that's quite pretty there or oh, i saw a small bit here and sometimes this is just you doing it because you want to and some of you will look at this and say oh yes that looks great and others will go no 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 that's awful that's the nature of art really nobody's going to we won't all agree i just so love this piece I'm finding it hard not to have it in here. What if I put it under the lace? What does that do? Could I then get away with it perhaps? Yeah, but I've obliterated it as well, haven't I? So it's pointless having it like that. Could I have it in here where I've got this? What's that like? No, it's too busy down here then. I think, much though it grieves me, I think it's probably not going to go in here. It could go down instead of that. But that's lovely and delicate down there. It could go up here somewhere. Particularly if I took, you know, just a small patch of it. Up there. Almost. That's, um... Let's attempt to trim some sort of a square. Could have it up, up there. Oh, I, quite, I like that. I mean, it's, it's bizarre. It's not there for any reason. But I just like it. I might put a bit of a title on there. But I like, altogether, I like that. Now, I have to be aware that underneath here, I have kept it fairly light in the middle. But when all this comes out, this will be a black and white... Um, machine sketch on here not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet but what I do know from experience is I need to make this um, let's trim this lot so that you can actually see oh fabulously not sharp scissors let's make sure everything is roughly I've left a bit of overlap there um, I need to put something under here I could put plain white fabric but that would cover this up very heavily and I've just spent quite a lot of time making it so what I'm going to use is this is net now I've got some dress net here which is quite nice because you can play around with dress net until you get the level of knocking back you want so you can see with two layers it knocks it back a fair bit if I do it with three layers that's four layers actually it knocks it back quite a lot but you can still see the lace and the colour underneath now I won't be doing it right across I'll be doing it in a shape that mimics this so that I can put my flower on there and thread sketch onto that net and it should show up so I've got a choice of either net or the other thing I've got is um, this is tull and dressmaker's tull and this is actually um, thicker so I might not need as many layers of this and what I have in my mind is to put down a panel of it for my flower to sit on i'm probably going to need more than one layer of that um so that my flower can sit on it and then to edge that with i've got some beautiful 
antique laces here that I could edge with. So I would cut this off properly square and to where I want it to be and then edge this panel with lace to sort of mimic these lines I've put in and the way a botanical drawing would be edged to show it off. So I'll fiddle around a bit with the tulle and lace um, but for the moment I'm happy with that background. I like it. I, oh that looks so pretty but I know I'm going to put some there. I like it. It works. It's um, it's nothing like the same as I had it before but that's uh, maybe this was the way it was meant to be and that's why God made me have to do another video. So I'm going to put that there so that you can see. I will now take a photograph of this, a still one, so that I can reproduce this. I'll back all these with heat and bond and I'll get this stuck down. What I might do, I think, perhaps, is try and do um, follow through this one with you. So I'll then show you putting on the tulle and the thread sketching um, and you can follow it through. So but that's all I need to do for now. So I hope that was interesting and I hope it's in focus this time. And um, I'll be back soon. Bye now. Finally off.